Hello, I'm Alex, Hyperon Experience, and I'm going to take you through my remix of Asen's Window in the Sky. Let's just get started. So we've got a standard setup of mixable intro to a breakdown to the drop here. Uh, let's just get to the drop because I've done some interesting things in there. So let's have a little look. <laughs> The first thing I hear is this Juno, which is actually the original Juno that we had at the very beginning of Hyperon Experience. I still have it now. It's really nice and I'm manually opening the filter because there's no MIDI control over anything, obviously. Let's carry on from there. What else have we got? We've got a crash. Another crash. Nice. And what's this? Very quiet, but there we go. Let's hear it now. Okay, that's just fine. We've got a reverse crash, which I've gated. I've done that manually. Lovely. What's this one here? Little low end boom in there, that's all fine. And what's this? Oh, let's just go back here, because I've got this little vocal here. We'll take all the effects off of that. We'll see what we end up with. Yeah. So standard procedure. Let's turn off that little primal tap. Yeah. And what I've done with the reverb is have it on super wet. You can see the mix knob is at uh, oh, well past 60, 70%, about 70%. That just pushes it back and gives it that sort of old school sound. Lovely, lovely. Let's have a little look what's going on here. Let's take out that vocal and listen to the backing track. Let's start here. No, it's just piano. Let's go. Where's the strings? No, this one. I've got this plug-in uh, contact, the action strings, where you can have it do, you just play a chord and it plays the stabs for you. It's pretty good and you can change it around. If you press the low notes, C sharp, uh, zero, and D zero, you can actually change them real time. It's quite interesting. What's the Juno doing? Open filter with release on the envelope. That's nice, all filter coming down. So I'm manually doing that. What's this? I'll come back to the piano in a minute. We'll carry on from there with the vocal back in. Nice. So I'm aiming for this stupidly anthemic breakdown. Let's go into this piano. So I couldn't actually play the piano, so I got in touch with Asen and said, do you happen to have the MIDI data for that piano? And he said he didn't, but that he would play it for me. So he played it in and sent over the MIDI file. Now I've done something nice with it. In fact, this window in the sky piano has become my default piano for sort of rave stuff. It sounds a little bit like a M1 piano, a Korg M1. Let's have a little listen. It's this preset, hybrid keys, and we can balance that's just that sound, with those two together. But what I did that I quite like was the compressor that I used, this Empirical Labs, which is absolutely hench. If I turn this off. Really grabby, really bitey. I like this a lot. This is exceptionally good on drums, in parallel or just on its own. I really like that a lot. What is this one doing? Nice. Uh, what's this one? Bit of that. Okay, let's carry on from there. Is that vocal again? That works quite well. Like it. Here we go. Okay, so Ella did this vocal. Take a walk through the colored land. Super delayed out nonsense. Let's see what this compressor's doing. Silver trees and purple sand. So what I'm doing is I'm sending the vocal to the delay, but I'm compressing the delay from the vocal. And it gives you, it gives, makes the delays shout out after the vocal's finished. We'll go through that once again. Take a walk through the colored lands. Turn Silver it off. Trees and purple sands. Close your eyes so like that, it's just a wash. The window in the sky. Turn it up to like, let's really make an effect of it. Take a walk through the colored lands. 
silver trees and purple sand. I like it how I had it. Close Interesting. And then we've got backing vocals. Let's have a listen to those. Harmonies. Lovely. So all together. Take a walk through the Awesome. Okay, where are we now? The window in the sky is so bright. So little trickle beats. Little trickle beats just like working its way before the drop. I'm mean, trying to squeeze out as much as possible. Now I made an effect out of her vocal. Sorry to stop it there. So I got Ella to go, um, I, 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 and we did it again. Yeah, yeah. So I've, I've managed to merge across. If I come out, that's probably yeah, yeah, yeah. So she's singing that. So she changed to yeah, yeah, there. And here's I, I. So I merged them two together. So it evolves. Lovely. Oh, come on. I'm actually not the biggest fan of dropping with the vocals and the piano, like everything at once. I like to drop to like drum and bass and then bring stuff back in, but it worked this time. I'm pretty happy with it. Let's Now we're at the drums. Let's have a little look at what's going on. Let's mute out this stuff and that. Let's have a quick look. Do I have a drum bus? Let's have a look. Tambour break will be in here. Don't go. Uh, drum mix. Oh, oh my gosh. I'm smashing the drum mix. Oh, that's a no-no. Actually, while we're here, I want to show you this plugin I've recently got, which is exceptional. Clarifon at DSP Mark II, or DP, or whatever. This is ridiculous. Just put it on there, I'll turn it off now. Isn't that incredible? I wish I had this when I was doing it. It sounds very dull without it. That's just so detailed and punchy. It's exceptional, exceptional tool that is. Let's leave it on because it sounds better. It might just get a bit louder. Let's just ungroup that, turn it down, bring it up. I, I'm really not happy that I'm smashing that. I don't like smashing up against there. Uh, let's have a quick look at what we've got here. So you can see it says don't go. Uh, that's obviously awesome free don't go. I used the break from that. Let's have a listen to that. I went back to the original. It's just I use it in there. I thought it would work in this one. Let's have a little look at what's going on there. Now, I've got this kick. So I'm using that. I've got Decapitator, which is Sound Toys Saturator. If I turn this off. Just brings out a little bit more upper mid, uh, sorry, mid range and a little bit more sustain. Uh, oh, actually, no, check this out, it's a trigger. I'm actually triggering this with a sample I have here. That's interesting. Let's turn that off and that off and solo. What's that doing? Don't know, turn it off. All right. So this is just a Slate, um, Slate Digital's trigger pack where you take acoustic kick, the kick drums, and you can layer them in with all sorts of stuff. Pretty good. So I'm using a real kick drum. What's this? Little click sound for the kick. Nice firm brick uh, kick. <clears throat> Original break from the tune. Don't go snare. That's nice. Is that trigger again? So I'm using a, this. Wow, that's interesting. So this again is choosing. I can, um, if I copy this, I can go to the browser and change the snares. CLA snares, core presets, snares. I don't know. Let's try number 13. So now I've, I've changed that. Paste. We'll go back to the original settings. So that's a, that's a snare drum from a drum kit, a live drum kit. <coughs> Good thing about that is that it's got a lot of stereo information. You've got a lot of control over what's going on with it. I like it. Classic sort of thing, a tambourine. Wow, should I? There's too much mid range in there. I've just, here we go, here, whole thing together. Interesting, not the best mix I've ever done, but let's go with that. Carry on from here. Some strings come in. So, what's happening here? The repeat of that again, isn't it? Looping them across. Switching between I and yeah. Nice, nice. Go, 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 go. 
little bridge, drum and bass bridge, nice. Few edits, lovely, can't go wrong. Classic hyper on melody, what's going on here? I think that's actually the sound from um, a track we did called Time Stretch. And that's what that's the main melody one. <laughs> Lovely, all pretty normal. Uh, what's this one doing? So, I mean, you've got eight bars. Is that eight bars? Eight bars of one melody into a... Uh, another eight bars with additional melody coming in. And then we've got another two eight bars, which is all going to change again. Why have I got two things there? And this one? It's not in key. Mental. What's it like without that? Not much to it, but it is a variation. Variation in melodies keeps it interesting. I think it changes again here. That was nice. That's nice. All right, good. All pretty normal, actually. Nice. And then out of there, so what we've done, massive breakdown, uh, drop to piano and vocal, all works, drum and bass bridge into melody over drum and bass, and then back in with the vocal to bridge. Oh, new melody. That's nice, that is nice. Arpeggiator, no, arpeggiator is not on. That's interesting. That's really interesting. Because obviously I've tried the project. That's not on. Interesting. How's that work? That's shocking. So this is going to be in mono, is it? Mono. Wow, that must have been a mistake. Let's take that out of mono. I must have tried to play that as a pad. Uh, I don't know, six. Oh, that's actually the melody from um, the song. Dude, interesting. That worked out... Because it's in mono, what's happening is that the notes are legato in up to each other. That's interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Into the bridge again. Oh, oh, happening. Very interesting. I like that. That works really well. What's next? Yeah, keep that synth running, that's amazing. Now what's next? Haha, <laughs> another melody. Ha! <laughs> uh, return to that one, isn't it? That one there, duh, duh, duh. okay. Oh, that's interesting, really happy with that. And then out to the outro, mixable outro. I've got something down here. And I always add an Easter egg. And there's a sample from Laws of No Lines, the Predator sample. I think that's me just about done. Really nice to do that. Um, really happy with this. I heard Aeson at uh, Nightclub last year playing this during his set. Um, really happy with the way it sounds on stage. It sounds very large. This whole breakdown here is, um, I'm happy with what I've achieved there. Uh, uh, the intro, not so happy. I think I got too indulgent, but you know, it's it is what it is. You know, it's got something you can point at and say that's wrong. Uh, what about the bass? Bass is pretty standard. I don't think I really reinvented anything, kept it changing, evolving, doing things, and I'm pretty happy. So I'm going to stop. <laughs>